Hello, how's it going there? Okay, what are we up to today? Oh, it's the hot season is here and whew, it's quite warm. Anyway, look at this here. What are we there? That I have a chamisen that I've decided to put on, put up for sale. Um, I have I'm making another one for a, pro, a project that I'll be working on in September. So I thought oh, I should take this one I have and 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 get it uh, on my website and up for sale. And uh, so I'm just going to give you a tour. There's photos on the website below if, you probably, if you're watching this on the website. And um, I'll link it on Facebook and stuff. Um, what else? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's uh, my dang. Let's just switch it. Okay, ciao. Here we go. I'll give you the tour. Uh, what we've got here is a, the neck tension is made with my dang. And the body is my dang as well. Um, beautiful, extremely dense Thai hardwoods. Quite a heavy instrument, which a lot of these Tsukuru Shamisen are made with similar densities of wood, you know. Um, now, the pegs that you're seeing are really unusual. Um, and uh, they can be included with this instrument, but they add the price is, is increased with them. You can see how the shape is quite wild. Um, so with with these, this this wood is called mairak, and uh, it's really rare. Like you'll probably never see it again. And and with when I was building these these uh, itomaki, they're called in Japanese. Um, I really followed the grain. You know, normally you would, they'd be very symmetrical and stuff. So on these, I, I followed wh where the grain took me, and, and that's where it came from. I've done a bit of a French polish on them. Um, I kind of am tempted just to sand that off and oil them, which I had originally. I think it's a bit nicer, but I might just leave it and see if anyone wants this instrument with these pegs, I can ask them. You know, I, think, I think it adds a nice quality to have them oiled. But anyway, I love shiny stuff too. So here we got the neck. It's a Mitsuori Sao, or neck, which is, this comes apart. These, these parts comes apart into three pieces. Um, so I just hit the mic and uh, it's a really traditional way of, of making them and it means the instrument can be packed up into a very small space you know so this is the one near the tension peg box and here's the one near the um, the body which is right here uh, doing these uh, Mitsuori Saos is quite the adventure I'll tell you um, I've, uh, yeah, so I was just going to say, uh, yeah, I've done a bit of a French polish on the neck as well. It's quite nice, you know. Um, yeah. Just give you a little tour. Here's the body. Uh, also, my dang. Which means wood red. But it's not a rosewood. You know, some people think, oh, it's just a kind of Thai rosewood. It's not. There are Thai rosewoods that are similar to like Indian rosewood and stuff. But this isn't, and I do not believe that my dang falls under the, the CITES uh, regulations. It's not, it's not really a rare wood here, and actually, this wood would have been from recycled from a old building. I think, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, and the skin. I think this is one of my calf skins. No, yeah, calf skins. Um, one thing that I do that you'll notice, A, I don't bleach them, right? So you can see it's not like a pure white. So you, there's still the character of the skin there. And especially on the side here, you see this sort of blotchiness? What that is, is I use uh, a liquid hide glue, uh, old brown glue. Great, great stuff, by the way. It's not the, the junky liquid hide glue you can get from... Tight bond, I think, makes it. Um, it it's beautiful stuff, actually. Anyway, that's what I use to, 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 when I uh, attach the skins to the body. And but one thing, because it's a the the nature of that glue uh, causes a kind of translucency happening where where it lies. You know, so that's that's why you can see these dark spits bits, right? So if you want a really white, 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 white. Um, look, then this isn't it, but you could have them re-skinned, re like you could have them sent over to Bachido 
if you're down that way. You can really see it standing out here. It's actually in per it's standing out more on the video, it seems to me, than here. But um, this is cool. Oh, I keep hitting the damn mic. Sorry. Um, here's the coma, the bridge. The bridge lies. If you don't know Shamisen, it lies here. Uh, probably not in tune at all. Not in tune at all. Anyway, I'm gonna do a video with me playing it soon, although maybe not today. And uh, yeah, I guess I should show you the dokake. So this is typically these instruments have a covering where your arm would rest, right? And I've seen uh, really old um, pictures of Goze, and they have it on both sides. And yeah, and then I've done this, uh, just a simple braid, tying it off here and tying it down here. Uh, this, this paper that I use for this is called Lacquer Yuzin. Um, from Japan, it's like a kind of lacquer over paper. Um, beautiful stuff. Yeah, so where are we now? I guess you've seen it all. There's the back. Let's put it this way. Um, yeah. Let's see if we get a long shot with the whole instrument. It's really a standard Tsuguru Shamisen size, which is the largest of the various Shamisen types, I do believe. Oh, you know, I should show you the... Here, hang on a sec. Let me just get this support here. I don't want to hurt the bridge. Yeah, okay, there we go. You can see the shape that I've done here. Um, here's the back of the tendon. Shaping in there. And also, with this instrument, see the edge of the sow, edge of the neck. I, I, I kind of have been doing this for quite a while on my instruments, where it's uh, just a little bit more extended over the, over the higher string, you know, and uh, that's it's. I guess it's sort of decorative, although it would allow you a bit a bit more reach on the higher string, where you're more likely to use it, you know. But a part of it's an aesthetic as well, you know. Typically, what what it would be is this edge here would be straight, so there'd be a little space there, and on the on the Nagata, if that's the right pronunciation, Shemisen, it's actually, it's more rounded, so it's a bigger space there. Um, yeah, I, that's just how I was doing it. <laughs> the Sawari, if you're familiar, it makes the buzz. Oops, hang on a sec. Hear that, that typical buzzing sound. That's a uh, characteristic of the sound of the Shemisen, and this is a round so why do you sometimes they're rectangular and you can see that it's adjustable um, which is great and most Tsuguro shamisens have an adjustable sawari uh, some of the other shamisens what it happens is it kind of goes over the wood here and it buzzes against this ridge here you know this ridge and that's what that ridge is for and it just uh, that ridge is maintained actually even though it's not needed here because there's the, what you what in the West we might call the nut is extends over the whole thing. Yeah, so there you go. What what else is unusual with mine? Oh, one thing is, uh, well, it's hard to see. I guess. Hang on. One thing. Let's see if we can get it in the light there. You'll see that my itomaki. I do straight into wood like you might do a cello, a viola, or how I do my flamenco guitars, straight into wood. Quite often in Japanese instruments, that would be lined with a kind of brass lining, you know. I don't make them that way myself, um, but a lot do. So if that's what you want, maybe another one. <laughs> I, I like this wood to wood. I, Anyway, it's just really what I like and continue to do. I could have switched over to using the brass liners any time, but I just never did. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, okay, so there you go. That's the Maidang Tsuguru Shamisen. It's, uh... Actually, you know what? The price I've got on my webpage, I'm not going to say it now in case I mess it up, but... Uh, I have that one 
And I have one really cheap, 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 inexpensive is a better word, it, that's in Canada at the moment. It's my very first instrument. That one for sure is 600 US dollars, so not expensive. It's a really beautiful instrument. I've got it on my website and I've got a video of me playing it um, at the Banff Center. Uh, it's a really nice instrument. But the thing is, I left it in, when I moved to Thailand, I left it in my friend's place in Canada. So it would be sent right from their place and I wouldn't be able to look it over or you know, clean it up and all that. But I'm sure it's in, in fine condition because my friend David is a f great musician himself and even more importantly, an expert instrument collector. Okay, anyway, hope that uh, illustrates something of the shamisen. Shamisen's awesome instrument. I'm gonna put this up and spread it around and a video of me playing will happen probably on Sunday or something. Okay, ciao, bye.